clubhouse talking about niggas pull pistols on me. Everybody you nigga the felony, my nigga. Everybody in that bitch get felonies, my nigga. Everybody. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't acknowledging none of that shit, bro. We ain't acknowledging none of that shit at all. We ain't, ain't nothing happen. Ain't no issue. Niggas ain't trying to keep no shit going. It was some aftermath shit that happened with that shit, bro, that wasn't nice. That wasn't, it wasn't pleasant. So therefore, that shit is dead. It's been resolved now. Niggas ain't got no issue. You ain't heard no nigga from 4PF talk about offset. No nigga from 4-2 hollering about offset. None of that kind of shit, bro. That shit deeper than just what happened that night at QC Compound. And my whole thing is, whack, you said what you said about it, bro. You wouldn't even post a detail nothing about nobody getting strong on robbed. Nothing about no nigga pulling no pistol on no nigga. None of that shit, bro. If you're OG, you stop to let it be what it be. And that's it. You hear me? But you telling the story trying to get clickbait, my nigga. That ain't cool. That's my whole point. You hear me? No, I got you 100%. And then, like, so I know I, I be seeing you on, online with, like, uh, OG Freeze. Like, like did y'all recently just meet or, like, how did y'all connect? I meant I meant free to be Jizzle, bro. Okay. Is that like be Jizzle like his connection to Detroit? Cause I know before he, you know what I'm saying, got locked up. He was uh frequent in uh Detroit. I seen Listen, a lot of bro. footage with him being out there. No, this is what happened, my nigga. He he was not on cash money before he before he got locked up, bro. He had get no, he was he had separated from cash money. His aunt Carol took on management of BG and then Carol and they brought BG up to Detroit, my nigga, and then they formed Chopper City Records. BG's last projects before he got locked down, they wasn't on cash money, bro. They was on Chopper City Records. That was a company that was formed out of Detroit with the help of his uncle Carol. Carol was BG mama's sister, you feel me? So when he was when he caught his case, he was Chopper City. You know what I'm saying? That's what he, that's look, check check the credits, man. Go to his last projects that he dropped. Before he got like that, but you, you ain't gonna see cash. No, I, I'm already shit. knowing that because yeah, even during that time frame, like shit, I'm old enough to know. Like I, I remember BG beefing with Birdman. That's like when um uh, when he had came home and I had heard Birdman was like, "Yo, I been down with BG this whole time," and I'm like, "Yo, what the fuck? How like I remember BG was beefing with Birdman. I I just wanted BG to correct that, but I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Business is business." You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, you know, put shit in the past. But I was like, damn, I wonder is BG going to correct them on that? Because Listen. I know that shit ain't true. And then, you know, we hear shit like even with Turk. He come out, he said it ain't true. Or, you know. Let me give you, let me give you, let me just show you. I don't care if niggas record this, whatever they do. I don't care if they do this. Let me tell you this, how this go, right? Birdman ain't putting no $200, $300 on BG book, bro. Birdman started coming to see BG about four, five, six months before he get ready to get released. You know, when they come up with penitentiary, BG a legend. Ain't no smut the nigga. They ain't know that he finna, receive, he, finna, he finna be received like Goosey was received. He finna be received like Boosie was received because he a hood legend, especially on the hip hop shit. So Birdman went to him, trying to lock him in prior to him coming home, my nigga. Birdman wasn't going to see him throughout the course of that motherfucking bitch. He was going over a decade, my nigga. And Birdman ain't putting no two, three hundred thousand dollars on his books. If he did, show the receipt. You know how the Fed go. Nigga, show the wire transfer. You can't, it ain't just no, you got to do JPay, excuse me, not JPay, Western Union, or you got to send a money order or a certified check. And niggas ain't sending no certified check to no nigga like Birdman, bro. He going to send that shit, wire transfer through Western Union. Tell them niggas to produce a, 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 a Western Union receipt. This Birdman, you know, it's all, he going to write that shit off. You know what it is. Nigga, tell him to show you a receipt where he sent BG $10,000. Not the three hundred thousand dollars that Bert, that the, the whack bitch ass say he sent. Tell him to send a receipt where he sent him three hundred grand, bro. That's not true. It's a lie. When BG came home, my nigga, uh, they was out shopping in the malls and shit, right? And in Vegas, you know what I'm saying? When they shooting the Gucci Man video shit, Birdman was with him. Birdman was walking to the mall when BG and his manager was walking to the mall, going to all the stores and shit. The nigga Birdman was like, yeah, get this, get that, get that for five, get this, get that. He had, had a bunch of shit, $23,000 at every store. And then he would walk out the store, wouldn't pay for the shit, my nigga. That's why it wasn't about no, see, Wack trying to flip the narrative like, oh, it's some paperwork discovered about old boy, so therefore old boy cut him off. No, BG didn't sign, and that's why he was mad. 
Wack is trying to switch the narrative now. At first, he first came out, he said that he was infuriated. He was mad because BG said in the interview with Gucci Man, when he asked him who he was trying to cash money, he said, no, I'm independent. I'm trying to figure out what's going on out here. I'm independent. That's why Birdman got mad, and that's why Birdman sent BG to try to smear, I mean, sent Wack to try to smear BG image with the whole fake rack allegation, bro. Now he's saying, oh, Birdman sent him this shit and and Birdman wanted him to investigate the shit. What the fuck do Birdman need you to investigate some shit with some niggas from New Orleans, bro? You ain't from New Orleans. What? Think about what, what, what Wack is spending now. Wack trying to, first of all, Wack said at first that he just said what he said without Birdman knowledge. And then Birdman was calling him three, four days about the shit. And he wasn't answering his shit. He was at Adam on Adam and he left his phone in Adam studio. Now he's saying the whole thing came from Birdman from the very beginning. He lying. He switching shit up in mid-sentence, bro. He lying. No, for sure. And then, like, from what I know, like, even speaking on that snitching shit, so, like, when BG would have went to the feds, the people would have seen his paperwork would have been Louisiana niggas. Is, is that correct? That's correct, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, like, even they saying, like, BG took the grand jury allegedly, right? How they like they still ain't show no transcript of what he said. Like, what if he went on a grand jury and pleaded the fifth? Listen, my nigga, let me tell you something, right? I'm just been lining shit up for you. The first time we heard about this shit, Terrence Gangster Williams is the one who so called broke. Yeah, I remember story. that. That's I seen it. From. Listen, WAC 100 reached out to Terrence Gangster Williams, but Terrence Gangster Williams only had 16 pages of the incident. And Wack 100 sent those 16 pages to 1090 Jake, my nigga. That's what he sent it to. Now, when 1090 Jake did his investigation, he got the whole transcript. It was 220-something pages, 200-something pages of it. 1090 Jake did his due diligence, bro, and got the whole goddamn thing. 1090 Jake, we didn't even know that Wack and Birdman was behind this shit. All we knew is that 1090 Jake dropped this motherfucking investigation on the whole BG allegation. Y'all didn't know. That WAC 100 is the one who sent this shit to 1090 Jake. He wanted, he, because WAC 100 hadn't seen the whole shit neither. So all he was just counting on, he was counting on what he heard was true to be true, bro. And when 1090 Jake dropped this decision that, 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 that Jizzle wasn't no rat, that wasn't enough. That's when you heard, because 1090 Jake didn't come with the conclusion that Birdman and WAC thought he was going to come with. Tonight, Jake did a thorough investigation, came back. Yeah, yeah, dog, dog, he admitted it was his gun. You know what I'm saying? He got pulled over. The police pulled him out because he was acting all nervous and physically. He volunteered that it was a gun. It was never a BG gun. He, the whole narrative about dog taking the case for BG, all oh, that's a lie. It was never BG pistol to begin with, nigga. That's all a lie. They created that whole lie, my nigga. That's not true. It was never true. So all this is about a fall guy and dog take the case for BG. That was never true. That was that, that was that man jump off the whole time. He admitted it was his jump off, my nigga. So when he say, oh, I took the case for BG, that's not true. You took the case because that was your pistol, nigga. Nigga told you not to bring the pistol, nigga. Because they ain't needed it in New Orleans. BG ain't got no beef in New Orleans, my nigga. What the fuck you ran around with a hot-ass pistol with a rap star in the goddamn car with you for? Wasn't none of that shit never true. So when, when BG, like, so this the thing, too, like, when BG provided him with a lawyer, like, like, they saying, like, he his same lawyer was BG lawyer, like, what else do you think, like, have y'all got down to that part, like, what else did he want from BG, did he, like, he wanted a million dollars, like, what, what did he want, a record deal, like? So listen, listen to this, bro, that was just BG and them little homie, my nigga, when he caught the case, when he caught the case, Nigga got on bond and everything. BG got him a lawyer because that's his man. Even though he told him not to bring the pistol, you know, you know he took the pistol. He, he didn't take a pistol case for BG. That was his pistol that he took. You got to ask yourself a question. They wasn't in no stolen car. They ain't run no red light. The nigga had license and everything. The, the, the other rapper had a blunt, had license and everything. Just wasn't driving the car. So why did the police pull a dog out the car? The police did not pull him out the car, my nigga. He... He jumped out the motherfucking car acting all nervous. He told the police, oh, it's my, it's a gun in the car. It's my pistol, it's my pistol, it's my pistol. 
You can ask yourself, why they get pulled over? Like, listen, I don't know where you guys is from, but let's just say me, you, and all y'all get pulled over in the car, right? I got license and insurance. The car not stolen. The police not pulling us out no car, bro. I'm giving you my license, my registration, and my insurance. There it is. Niggas sit down there and shut the fuck up back there. The nigga was acting in a report. It said the police say he was acting all nervous and fidgety and acting all strange. That's why the police, you know, went to act, asking him questions about what's up with you type shit. He jumped out of the car and volunteered. It was his pistol, my nigga. All, the whole story about him taking the case for dog, that's some shit he making up now. That's some shit he making up now. So if, when you ask me a question about what dog won't, dogs, he reached out to Jizzle. Jizzle just came home, so there's nothing Jizzle can do for the nigga. So he mad because Jizzle ain't reached out to him and ain't fucking with him. But he in prison, not for the gun case that happened when he got caught in the car with Jizzle. He in prison for a whole new case. He got out of prison after doing four and a half, five years for that case and caught another case when he got into an accident, somebody got ejected from the car out the windshield, died. He dog fucked up. They found a pistol in the car. They can't put the pistol on dead, nigga. They put the pistol on him because he's the only nigga in the car that's alive. So that's why that's what he's in prison for right now. He's not in prison for shit that got to do with BG, my nigga. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then, the um, because that's blunt, right? And then the Malone mm -hmm. shit. Malone, mm -hmm. Malone, um, Moses Malone Jr., right? Am I, hold mm -hmm. on, am I saying it right? Yo, Rich, am I saying it right, bro? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, he, so he told on them they had a whole situation in uh, Houston at a nightclub and shit. And shit went, you know what I'm saying, left. They tried to rob him or something. And he ended up, shit, the nigga Moses Malone Jr. ended up testifying on them and shit. Ended up getting 35 years. So that's what that is, bro. So listen, let's just go. I want everybody here just to, just to hear me out. I ain't no loud talking, cussing, fussing ass nigga, bro. It's a matter of fact situation. I'm not no, I'm not no motherfucking fan, bro. I've been knowing BZ before he went to penitentiary, nigga. I'm from Detroit, my nigga. BZ was Chopper City Records. Chopper City Records was founded out of Detroit, my nigga. Know what I'm saying? So this ain't no fan club ass shit. Y'all can holler at his aunt, Carol Dorsey. But Carol Dorsey is one who put me in the management game. She was my mentor when I first got into artist management, artist development, marketing, advertising, and promotion. I ain't no nigga who just running his mouth, talking like no fan, no shit like that. And Freeze ain't no fan. Freeze was actually his cellmate for years doing COVID. Man, they was in a cell to get a locked up, couldn't move because you couldn't get out because it was COVID. The whole prison system, state and fed, was locked down for damn near a year. It was bunkies, bro, for years. So a nigga ain't on here. A nigga sitting back like, damn, listen, our focus wasn't even on WAC because we know WAC. In order for you to speak on, on, on BG, Birdman had to put you up to the shit. You wouldn't have dared spoke against that shit if Birdman didn't give you green light. So from the very beginning, we all talking, my nigga. We all know where it's coming from. Whack acting like he's just a long, a long ranger with the shit and Stunner don't know what he's doing and he doing this shit without Stunner's permission. Stunner calling him, blowing. Listen to what he say. Stunner was calling me, blowing me up. I ain't answer the phone. He called me when I was at Adam Twenty Two shit doing my and I put him I put him on the phone and he hung up. He had to go into a roll. I left my phone at Adam Studio overnight. I found it the next day and it's fifty million missed calls for Stunner. Stunner don't want me to do this. Stunner don't want me to do this. Stunner don't want me to do this. Kind of find out. Yeah, now I remember that audio. Oh, I heard man. That. Now he's saying Stunner gave him the green light. Which one is it, nigga? You lying? You you trying to justify and minimize? What you did, nigga, first you said you did it on your own without Stunner's permission. Then you then you come out and say, it's the three stories now. First, you did it on your own without Stunner's permission. That's number one. The second story is, the second story is, uh, the second story is, is that I wouldn't have did it if, if I, if, uh, if, unless I got the green light from somebody in his backyard. He ain't come out and tell it all the way. Now, he flat out saying Stunner is the one who brought it to his attention. And based on what Stunner brought to his attention, he did an investigation and came up with X, Y, Z. But what he ain't saying, bro, he, uh, Terrence Gangster Williams, man, is the one who first put this whole story out there. Whack bitch ass reached out to Terrence Gangster. He said he don't fuck with no rats. But he reached out to Terrence Gangster Williams to try to get the smut on BG name. When he got when he got the paperwork from beat from uh Tans Gangster Williams, which was like it was sixteen pages, not one. He lying, my nigga. It was sixteen pages that Terrence Gangster Williams sit that nigga, and that nigga sit those sixteen pages to ten ninety J. All you gotta do is go 
1098 say I get the paperwork for whack. He say he, where he got it from. They tried to plant that story with Tonight Jake, hoping that Tonight Jake was gonna condemn BG, bro. That's what it was about. My nigga, all you get to pay is this, take a deep breath, calm down, and follow the timeline, my nigga. This shit was all the setup because BG refused to sign with that nigga, my nigga. And then you heard Wax say, my nigga, he could have been a rat. He could have been a I, I could have knew for a fact that he was a rat. I wouldn't have said nothing because I got five million dollars called it, you know, tied up with stunner deals and stunner plays with my artist Blueface and the cut them up plays we got going on. I wouldn't have dared say shit about him being a rat, even if I knew he was a rat without stunner permission. So right there, he telling the motherfucker, if Stunner didn't say go, he wouldn't have said nothing. He would have ate that shit and kept it quiet. Listen to this shit, bro. This ain't no rocket scientist. It don't take no rocket scientist to figure out all this shit is a play, my nigga. Yo, bro, like, so, um, <clears throat> I know you can't speak for BG, or maybe you can, but, like, far as, like, BG right now, like, what, what's his mind state on it? Like, does he feel that Birdman behind it, or, or you Hey, my you nigga, haven't... listen, Birdman is behind it. You just heard, listen, so, now we gotta go, Wack can change the story a million times. He changed the story at least three times. We're on the fourth story now. He just said yesterday on Clubhouse that Stunner brought it to him and asked him to investigate it. Right? So the whole thing, this whole thing, the whole time was really, niggas, the first thing he said was, I'm getting on BG ass and I'm exposing this because BG had the nerve to say he independent, he ain't signing cash money. That wasn't, the, and then when everybody was saying, Wack got a lot of criticism because everybody's saying, Wack, what they got to do with you? That's between him and his son. Don't forget, Birdman say BG his son. So if he decided not to sign to Birdman, that's between him and Birdman. Why you jump out there calling a nigga rat and saying anything about it, nigga? Let Stunner handle that shit. Nigga ain't got nothing to do with you. But Stunner is the one sitting on that mission in the very begin to begin with, my nigga. BG did position. BG don't give a fuck. Niggas ain't gonna touch him. Niggas ain't gonna touch him. Whacking on threat, my nigga. All this shit about nigga was a dope thing, man. So, look, niggas, let me tell you something, man. Every nigga from the hood know, know a nigga who's on drugs, my nigga. Ain't no secret that BG was, was, was fucking with dope back in the day. Ain't no secret. He don't, he, man, how many motherfuckers do y'all know who's on drugs and clean themselves up, my nigga? Come on, bro. It's niggas out here who ain't never been to penitentiary and who, who, who use dope, my nigga. Come on, keep the nigga, nigga, if you drinking lean, you on dope, nigga. Nigga, if you popping all these pills, you really popping Fetty Wap. That's dope, nigga. Nigga trying to shame a nigga for being a drug addict, nigga. Come, what? Everybody in the hood knows somebody who's a drug addict. Everybody in the hood get a drug addict in their family, my nigga. Come on, stop playing. Hey, dog face, I got to ask you this, though. Like, you know, with the TT Naughty situ TTE Naughty situation, like, we seen the leak audio or whatever. Like, I'm, I'm not even going to um get into that. But, like, I heard him on a podcast, and he was saying, like, he don't feel appreciated. Like, did you did you hear him say that? And do you have any thoughts on that? Well, I I ain't got no thoughts on on nothing about Naughty, bro. Naughty said what he said, and and I'm assuming he gonna stand on what he said. Uh, I don't know why he felt like that. I haven't talked to him. I don't know, bro. I can't I can't speak for Naughty. You know what I'm saying? That's something that y'all gotta holler him about, and I'm sure that he'll he don't mind explaining if he did say it. And if he did say it, he, I'm sure he not he not shy about uh, telling the motherfucker. Yeah, why I he talked did. to him yesterday, and he he didn't really he didn't give me an answer on that, a clear cut answer on that. So like I said, I even put that to the side. It, it's just like I heard him on a podcast. He was like, "Yo, niggas, like I'm done um taking up for rappers. Niggas don't appreciate me. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, he was referencing the BG shit. I I, I, don't, I don't I don't even know, bro." I, I'm my, what I'm gonna tell you is this, right? I don't know why he feel like that, my guy. That's just a question that I mean. Listen, so when it comes to speculating about why somebody said mm -hmm. what he said, and then we, and then we add and why they feel like they feel, the best person to go to to get that kind is of that person. That's is we that person, my brother. Now he ain't never shied away from talking, bro. So I'm sure if you if you get the opportunity to talk to him again, and you and you put the question to him again. I'm sure eventually he'll he'll say why he said what he said, but I don't know. I ain't talked to him about it, and and if I do talk to him, that's not even a conversation we're gonna have about that because you know he is own man, my nigga. He can feel how he want to feel. I ain't knocking him either way. You feel me? No, I got you. I got you. Got you on that.
No, oh, for sure. Yo, Ema, you 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 got uh, any questions for him, bro? Yeah, I, one you question that question you want you, bro. Anybody, anybody nah, for sure. any so, for me? Come on with it. So one thing I'm thinking about is like, what do you think the end goal is for uh for Birdman? Is it are they playing good cop, bad cop, or is it just since he's not going to sign, I'm gonna just smut his name? So like, listen, what's listen. the end goal there? So listen, right? So man, listen, I appreciate these questions, bro. Y'all sound all all y'all sound intelligent as motherfucker. Now peep game, right? So the question is. What's Birdman angle? My 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 people, whenever you send your attack dog, don't forget a lot of wax relevance inside the music business. It ain't through game no more. It ain't through True Car. It ain't through none of the other artists, man. No, his his claim to fame right now is his association with Stunner. He always hollering Stunner, 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 Stunner. Stunner is the one who allowed him to sign Blueface and Cash Money West and all that shit. So he has a, a detailed, intricate relationship with, with, with Stunner, right? I don't know what a motherfucker angle is, but I'm going to tell you what it got to be. What a nigga, when you call, when you send your personal assistant, when you send your trained lap dog, you do that, you already know the sentiment that you create in another motherfucker mind, in another motherfucker heart. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of shit you really can't take back, when, especially when a nigga know it came from you. And we don't got to speculate whether it came from him or not because Wack has already revealed that, yes, it did come from Stunner. But now he's trying to put a twist on it like, oh, Stunner was just asking me to investigate some shit. My nigga, why do, why do Stunner got to call you from L.A.? to ask you to investigate New Orleans business. You mean to tell me there ain't nobody in New Orleans can, can up or down that shit? Stunner don't know how to find nobody paperwork? Stunner know who that the other nigga is? They all from New Orleans, man. Come on, bro. Y'all can't be going for no shit like that. I thought the other nigga was from Houston. My nigga, them niggas was... Them niggas, them niggas was rolling around together. Nigga got family. They families know each other. Nigga, nigga be from Houston, but nigga be rolling around with BG and them and been knowing niggas, man. So, like, I'm from Detroit, my nigga. I be in Atlanta, Memphis, Alabama, Florida, all over the place. So if something happened, I, I can, nigga, I've been in Atlanta, I've been in Tampa Bay for years and all that kind of shit. So it just is what it is, you feel me? Motherfuckers know each other, bro. So the overall point to answer to your question is this, because I, I, I don't want to make it appear if I ain't answering your question. The end goal of the angle, when you send your lap dog to criticize a motherfucker and call a motherfucker rat and try to put some smut and smear on a nigga name, you know that's pretty much the end of that conversation, especially when we know it came from you. You feel me? That's the end of that relationship. I can't speak for them because they've been knowing each other for a long time. But when you get to playing games like that, and you get to, you know, you know, hollering that nigga trying to smut a nigga name out because you mad because the nigga didn't sign with you? I don't know. That's a question for Jizzle. Whenever Jizzle ready to speak on this shit, uh, he can. But I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. And But my word don't really mean nothing because I, I ain't neither one of them. None of, neither one of these guys. But my nigga, a nigga called me a motherfucking rat, bro. And I know a nigga, I know where it came from. I never fuck with you again because I can't trust So that's just that on that, my nigga. You hear me? Anybody else got something for No, nah, no doubt. Salute, salute. But nah, that's good shit. That's almost like sending a proxy out there to do your work for you. No, it's not almost like. That is what it is. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's what it is. I ain't want to yeah. put it like that, but no, you know, that's, what that's it almost is. like how they tell niggas be snitching by proxy. Well, I yeah, guess that's, sending, that's what it is. I, you, I guess he sent his hitter out there by proxy. Hey, listen. WAC 100 has told multiple stories. The first story he told is that he got a hold of the information and then he put the information out there without even get, getting a green light from Stunner. And then he, and, cause remember he said, well, I was, Stunner was kept on calling me. I ain't answered Stunner number. When I, when I just had to go out there and put it out there, I knew Stunner was going to call me. Stunner was calling me. I wasn't answering because I felt how I felt. He went from saying that to saying, uh, well, Stunner gave me the green light came from BG Backyard. I would never say no shit like that about my Stunner son and slash artist, potential artist, without green light from BG Backyard. What's BG Backyard? BG Backyard is Stunner. 
Hey, dog face. Yeah. So you think that when uh uh when Stunner sent that message to to uh Chance Gangster Williams that he was just stunning, that was just him covering his ass at the same huh. time? Hey, listen, bro. One, I've been in the, I've been in the music business over a decade, bro. I I want I want y'all every I don't know anybody else's credentials or what you guys do, but let me tell you something, man. These niggas are playing what we call reindeer games in the penitentiary, man. A reindeer game is nigga throwing rocks, hiding in hand, and uh setting up plays and putting niggas in position to go at other niggas and then backing out, acting like it ain't come from them. And then getting stool pigeons and getting lackeys and funkies to do your dirty work for you. And then acting like you don't know where the fuck it came from. Like niggas stupid or something, bro. Don't y'all believe none of this music industry shit, bro. Y'all don't believe none of this shit, my nigga. Whack 100, he ain't calling out no stump down gangsters. He picking and choosing like a boxer. Oh, well, I ain't gonna box this nigga. He was too good for me. This nigga picking and choosing like a heavyweight prize fighter, bro. You know, so you know how the heavyweight niggas it sounded to me like he niggas? slipped up. Like he ain't really mean to expose that. And, he and so did. That listen, like, no, no, no. Did you burn, burn, man, but you just burned your relationship with. Yeah. So, so listen, the reason why he come, the reason why he creating three different narratives because each narrative make him look stupid. One, Stunner is the one who gave you the money to sign Blueface, bro. Blue, Blueface is your blue chip artist right now, not the game. Blueface. He signed the Cash Money West. Think about it. Point number two. When he first came out, he said he said shit about BG without Stunner permission or authorization. He just went Rambo on the nigga and just did what he did. And Stunner was trying to call him, trying to back him down, but he wouldn't answer Stunner phone calls. Wait a minute. So that made him look like, bro, you a disloyal ass nigga. Why would you try to out Stunner's son slash an artist that he helped cultivate since he was a, t uh, a little boy? Why would you do that shit without going and talk to him first? That made him look wild, irresponsible. So then he switches up and said, well, I did it, but y'all, y'all need to read between the lines. Read between the lines, my nigga. I wouldn't have did that shit unless I got the green light from somebody in his own backyard. Stunner. Now he throwing Stunner under the bus so as he'll make himself like no goddamn fool. You feel me? Now he's saying, peep the game. Now he's saying, oh, Stunner contacted me and told this get rid of the whole shit about the don't sign him he ain't worth three million dollars shit let's just go right to the heart of the matter because shit be getting confused now he's saying oh stunner reached out to me and told me uh or oh, somebody sent me something about jism man do your do some do, do your background on this nigga who whack 100 ain't no motherfucking private investigator <laughs> i don't what, know what, about listen, that listen, listen. Well, well, well i get it now yeah I, man, <laughs> back up a minute I, let me back up. I, let me back up for a minute. I may have miss. I may have misspoke on that because you know it gets to that PI, that Magnum PI, Pink Pink Panther ass shit. I get it. Nigga on that Pink Panther, Magnum PI ass shit. I I I, I, I feel you. But my thing is, if Stunner want to know anything, does he ain't go through whack? Who the fuck is whack one hundred compared to Stunner, bro? Anything Stunner want to know from Texas, from New Orleans to LA? Stunner can find out anything about anybody if he wanted to, bro. Wax saying that now to make it look like the Stunner didn't set him up and send him on a mission to assassinate BG's character. Think about it. It's simple mathematics. It don't take no motherfucking mathematician to figure out niggas changing their stories to suit what the public is saying about the whole shit that's happening here. You feel me? No, it it's makes like sense when look at it that way. Ray Charles can see that through Stevie Wonder's eyes. Yeah, and then another thing, but listen, bro, another thing about this whole stunner shit, man, listen, bro. Stunner, everybody a rat. Everybody a whole nigga. You hate rats. You can't stand rats. You can't, niggas is hoes. Niggas, you will beat niggas ass on pie root. And I ain't even, nigga, I fuck with blood niggas, bro. I fuck with crip niggas. I fuck, I'm from Detroit, nigga. This the home of Big Meeks, my nigga. No, we get on like that. But the point of the matter is this, my nigga. You don't fuck with rats and you have a, you have a, a distaste in a high regard, a high disregard for rats, but you run around doing business with six nine. You 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 being seen with him, you traveling across the country with him, you orchestrating little plays for him, but you don't fuck with no rats. My nigga, if a nigga rat, and I don't fuck with rats, I ain't fuck with no rat no matter what. You can't pay me to fuck with no rat, nigga. If I'm saying I'm standing on that law like that, my nigga. That's number one. Troy Ave. Troy Ave gonna stand testified against a nigga tax stone. He fucked. He dropping Troy Ave. Oh, Troy Ave just dropping niggas' names, giving niggas relevancy, using his name. Like, he ain't saying, oh, I back you, nigga. But listen, my nigga, if any one of you niggas say, I don't fuck with no rat, 
and then we see y'all with some rats and propagating and carrying on with rats, well, you contradicting yourself through your behavior and your actions, right? Hey, yeah, uh, how you feel about him saying Big Meech right? Man, listen, tell him. Dog face, a, dog take face. A, yeah. Bro, hey, bro. Lee, that, 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 you know how I feel about that one, bro. No, no, I, no, that, no, 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 I'm, I'm gonna answer, I'm gonna answer this question. Go no. listen, that's your people, but listen, he asked me how I feel about it. Man, them boys, them, the, the people who, who love Meech, right? Uh, they, you know, they, they, tell them to say it to his face. Tell them to go to Detroit and holler at T and holler at the rest of them boys. He can even go holler at Gov, because Gov, Gov will get him together. Gov will box him down about that. You even tell him to go holler at Big Gov right there. Gov will get him together. No, hey, salute bro. to Gov, man. Appreciate you, bro, for putting this together. But, um, hey, hey, but like when it comes to like the Terrence Gangster Williams uh, situation, like, do you think, because a lot of people think that Birdman talked to him and they just putting on for social media and shit, like, What's your thoughts on that? Like, you think that he was behind? Because he the one originally put out these accusations. Man, listen, he you know he talking to him, bro. We know he talking to him because the chick who was, who was, who was a gangster, no gangsters, PR person, and his manager, she already, she got the tapes. She got the recordings of him talking, to, of him and Birdman talking, going back when he first came home, man. So Birdman was lying about that, my nigga. Come on now. Yeah, he talked to that nigga. And I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. If 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 if, if Terrence Gangster Williams called WAC 100 and, and and reached out to him and gave him paperwork personally, them niggas playing what they call reindeer game, bro. Don't believe these niggas, bro. Don't believe these all these niggas. Is, listen, he got mad because BG refused to sign with him. Well, he they they, they they knew about what was going on when it was happening, when it was happening, uh, uh, when it was happening, and. He wouldn't have said shit about it until, don't forget, Wax said he was mad originally because BG said he was independent. He wasn't signing the cash money. That's what Wax said. And Wax said the reason why he's spazzing on and he's trying to expose BG is because BG said he was independent. So since you independent, nigga, going out there and fighting allegations about yourself independently. Think about it, my nigga. Come on, now. Yeah. Hey, dog face. So, do you think there was a reason why BG didn't want to sign with Cash Money? Let me tell you the reason, because he's stunt. My stunner, stunner wasn't giving BG no three million dollars cash, bro. Stunner was going to middleman a deal with Atlantic, Warner Brothers, or Universal. He wasn't coming out of that pocket. He was just going to sit and eat off the deal, bro. Y'all got to people how the music business works. Stunner wasn't giving BG no money out of his own pocket, but he was going to be signed by by default and by like my man say by proxy. You know what I'm saying? He was gonna be signed because B because Stunner was the one orchestrating the deal. You know what I'm saying? Like with NBA Young Boy, Stunner helped him negotiate his deal with Atlanta. He not signed the cash money. Young Boy ain't signed the cash money, but Stunner helped him represent that motherfucking deal and therefore receive the percentage based on his negotiation power to help Dog get that deal like that. So Stunner was never coming out of no three million dollar out of his own motherfucking pocket, bro. He was going to negotiate that shit, get that three million dollars from Universal, Warner Brothers, Columbia, or Atlantic, my nigga. Is that something that BG didn't want to do, based off of him? No, no bro. Listen, listen. No, I'm gonna tell money not right. No, 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 no. no, no. Nothing that I'm gonna tell you why, bro. Why he didn't sign? I'm gonna sign. You ain't put the money on the floor. The money he he he, ne he never came forth with it, bro. When he came home, he promised the motherfucker three million dollars, a car, right, a car, and some jewelry and a bunch of other shit, man. When 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 when, when dog first came home, my nigga, they was in the mall out there shopping for BG, bro. And Stunner was picking out all kinds of shit like get this for Jizzle, get this for Slime, get this for Fag, get this, get this. He was he was going to the Gucci store, Louis store, Balenciaga store, picking out twenty thirty thousand dollars in each store, and he was walking out the store without paying for none of this shit, bro. It was all cap, all for show. So when Stunner, I mean when when Jizzle and them peeped that shit, Freeze them was with him, my nigga. By the way, when they peeped that shit, Freeze was out there with them boys. So he was in the mall at the same time they was in the mall when he peeped the dog was his. Flies and faking. Oh, yeah, no, dog, on that fake clout. He just out here for clout, trying to be associated with nigga for clout. So when it was time to produce that motherfucking money, 
he wasn't producing that motherfucking money. And so therefore, if you ain't producing the money, nigga, you think he gave just three million dollars, bro? He wouldn't have signed. The three million was never on the flow. He never produced no contract, my nigga. Yeah. It was never on the flow, my nigga. Come on now. Hey, also let me ask you this: Are are the allegations um regarding the million dollar he gave him the day he got out or something along the lines that are, are there any truth to that? Or? What you mean, million dollars he gave who? What you mean? Uh, apparently, there, there's a video when he first came out of jail. Birdman walked up to him and whispered, "Like check your account or something." Never, like, never deposited. That's fake. Lie. I see. That's a lie. Never happened. Tell him to show you the motherfucker why he transferred. Yep, that's where that rumor of him giving them a million plus stems from. So. My nigga, no, no, no. So, so, okay, peep game, bro. He tell tell whack bitch one hundred. She they get through. No, no whack keep receipts. Come on now, everybody on this line. No whack keep receipts. He keep screenshots, text messages. He keep all that shit receipts through. He was receipt king, right? Him and Tans Gangster Williams, they best they missed the answer right back. They get the receipts. They got this. You get the paperwork. Oh, I got the paperwork saying BG told the motherfucker. Okay. What that receipt at, nigga? What that wire transfer transaction at? So the dog wired him a million dollars. That was cap. Right. He was lying, bro. That's another thing. That was that same day. That same day he pulled that same stunt. And that's what made Jizzle say, wait a minute. Dog on the same fuck shit he was on back in the day before I got locked up. So that's why, that's what gave Jizzle reason for pause, my nigga. You hear me? Yo, Dogfish, let me ask you. Yeah. Like, even like that, like, I was going to ask you that question about that million dollars. And I know that Turk, you know what I'm saying, actually he, he put in a lawsuit when it came to Birdman and they settled out of court. So it's like, do BG, like, do you know if BG think that Birdman owe him money from, like, you know, past record sales since he's been locked up, like, similar to the Turk situation? My God, I'm going to say that with Jizzle. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, well, Jizzle ain't saying that, bro. Jizzle, wait a minute. I'm gonna say that question for Jizzle, bro. Nigga, talking about what Jizzle ain't said shit. Nigga, Birdman ain't said shit about none of this shit. Birdman ain't made no statement at all. That's that tell you something. If the shit wasn't true, and Wack first came out and said what he said, Birdman was just like, "No, nah, bro, I ain't seen no shit like that, bro." Don't forget, he went to he went up to Breakfast Club and checked Charlie Manning God and them and checked Envy and uh, asked Lee about using his name. So when a nigga saying that you said your son was a rat. You mean Timmy Birdman ain't gonna, gonna step up and, and you know straighten about that? Come on now. Yeah, they playing with his name. Bro, he ain't worried about that shit, bro. It ain't about no tough shit. Nigga on paperwork, bro. Nigga on nigga on nigga on paperwork. Nigga trying to walk that shit down. And get them white folks out of business, my nigga. You hear me? Anybody got a problem with Jizzle, bro? Jizzle, Jizzle, the love. This ain't no, this real nigga shit, bro. Anybody got a problem with Jizzle, bro? They know they can get, they can, they can get that worked out, bro. It ain't even, we ain't got to even go back and forth. You know what I'm saying? When I came on, on Clubhouse earlier, my man Gub put me up on the, the nigga had mentioned my name, to my when I wasn't here, I wasn't in the studio, my nigga. Bro, you said you was there. You did stand up. He did step in to kind of like squash the situation. But we saying officially what no situation, what no gambling, what no fight, what no robbery, what no motherfucking guns. That's what we saying, my nigga. And any, anybody saying anything different is playing police games, my nigga. I mean, to your point, though, I don't, because it's like headlines right now. As if yesterday, I seen a few different websites reporting on it. And it says, yo, blah, blah, conflict broke out because of WAC 100. So it kind of reignited this whole thing. And to your point, man, that's, that's too uh, much information out there. My whole thing is, WAC described the situation based on what he saw. He was there. He was in quality control compound. He was the blue face. He did step into the middle of some shit. I'm saying the shit he stepped into the middle of was just two guys having a disagreement about something. It was never serious. No guns were ever pulled. Nobody ever threatened nobody. Nobody ever got hit. Nobody ever got their pockets ran. Nobody got robbed. Nobody got approached and threatened. That's what I'm saying, bro. And I'm speaking officially for 
for two dub. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna speak officially for little baby. I'm gonna speak officially for uh even offset side of the equation, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking officially for all of, none of that, but ain't nobody put no gun on nobody. Ain't nobody got robbed, nobody got hit, nobody got nothing, bro. It was just a misunderstanding. You no, know, they got heated, it got squashed down, everybody went their own separate way, bro. That's what I'm saying. I'm standing on that. No doubt, no doubt. Anybody get anything else for me? Now you pretty much ghost. You got anything you want to ask dog face? Nah, 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 not right now. Yeah, another thing is, bro, motherfucker said, well, who's this dog face nigga? Listen, bro, I've been knowing Big Gov on this line. I've been knowing Big Gov since I come out of the penitentiary, bro. I did 17 years in the penitentiary straight. No gay shit, no protection, no hoe shit, no getting stabbed. I'm doing all the goddamn stabbing. <laughs> I'm doing all the motherfucking pressing out on that bitch. No, none of that shit, bro. So listen, Big Gov, I've been in the music business, bro. You know what I'm saying? Me and Big Gov worked on a project for Proof from D12's mama. We did a, 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 a compilation, a tribute project for uh, Proof's mama, Mama P, Pepper, Pepper Holton. Big Gov was instrumental in helping me pull that project together. Did it on the love to help me out with it. Niggas really kind of like frustrating the process because they was mad because they couldn't be a part of that proof tribute project, bro. I'm in the music business in the city of Detroit, bro. I was doing podcast shit in 2012, 13 before the term podcast was ever popularized, my nigga. I move and shake all across the country. You motherfuckers know who I am, bro. I ain't got to get no soapbox to prove nothing, no motherfucking whack 100, my nigga. I ain't broke. I live in a private gated community. My kids go to private school, and I'm a stump down east side nigga, my nigga. So it is what it is. So nigga can't call me broke. You know what I'm saying? Nigga can't say I'm, 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 I'm fucked up. I ain't told on no nigga. A nigga ain't whoop my ass. I do all the motherfucking ass whooping. Go on YouTube and just put that motherfucking dog face get in a fight. I'm in a, I'm in a club fighting fat niggas by my motherfucking self and didn't lose. Recently, not no 20 years ago. Y'all can follow me on Instagram, Dogface TV on YouTube. Follow my YouTube page, Dogface TV, bro. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing fake about me, bro. No, uh, OG Freeze, a real nigga. Did 21 years in the penitentiary. Ain't told on nothing. Solid motherfucker. Fed time. Walked the yard. Ran the South car. Ran the Atlanta car, bro. So, say no fan. We fuck with BG. We talk to BG every single day, my nigga. Just like Wack talked to Stunner every single day. We, we talk to Jizzle, my nigga. So, if you can speak for Birdman. Birdman ain't said one word about none of this shit. So a whack, if you the voice of Birdman, then me and Freeze and anybody else who authorized to be the voice for Jizzle. Sample, how, what, what you mean we speaking up for Jizzle? We fans, what you doing with, with, with Birdman, nigga? Birdman ain't said shit. Nothing. Not one word has he said. No Instagram post, no official cash money statement. He has not denied he's been a part of this shit at all. Whack doing all the talking. So Whack said, oh, them niggas some fans. Them niggas fans of BG. What? Hey, dog face, I do got a question for you now that you spoke on that, bro. Let me ask you okay. this. Um, what, what you saying that about Birdman ain't made no statements. Um, Whack, Whack made a statement basically saying Birdman the one sent him the paperwork and told him, asked him, was BG clear? He sent him BG paperwork and asked him, was BG clear? And to, to, to run the paperwork to see if everything was straight. Do you believe Birdman? Is is behind any of this or has any involvement in this? Once again, what's your name, brother? Ghost. Hey, Ghost. Once again, we have WAC 100 providing the narrative, providing the so-called proof of the narrative, but there is no proof. He ain't produced no text messages. He ain't post no text messages on his page. And WAC so clever, WAC so clever, he'll change another nigga number. And say and put it Birdman and Stunner and act like that was Stunner sent this shit the whole time, bro. Stunner ain't said nothing. This is all whack talking. So when y'all go on his page again, whatever this shit is, because I'm new to the clubhouse shit for real, for real. Nigga, where the receipts at? Nigga, what Birdman ain't said nothing. Oh, Birdman, he beneath he this is beneath him. It's beneath him. He was just with the nigga when he came home from prison. He so-called wired the nigga a million dollars. He so-called had a $3 million deal on the floor with him. He so-called sent him $300,000 to his to his books in prison. 
right? Come on, but, but but I ain't gonna lie, dog face with me, like on Birdman, end, it just looked shaky that he hadn't spoken out and said anything. Like he ain't even said nothing. Like, look, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't told Wack to say shit. Like he's still standing like next to Wack with all this shit going on. It, it looks shaky. You know what I'm saying? So watch this, bro. Like back in back in back in the day in the 1960s and 70s by 1950s and 60s rather during the voters rights registration act uh white people were saying that they didn't stand with the ku klux klan they didn't stand with the with the with the with the racist white people down south right but nigga, if you ain't gonna raise your voice against what a nigga saying you say it then you standing with it nigga. you you if a nigga say he's speaking on your behalf and he's speaking for you and you don't say nothing to either confirm or deny it then that's you, nigga. That's your work, nigga. And that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, dog. Fat. That's why I feel like Birdman is is complicit with Wack in this shit. I feel like he's working with him on this shit because listen, listen, he ain't listen. he ain't denying it and he ain't he ain't trying to clear shit up. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. And so and so this is what Wack said. It's check the manipulation. Oh man, D, who the fuck is this nigga? OG Freeze. Who the fuck is this? Uh, TT Naughty nigga. You know what I'm saying? Who the fuck is this dog face nigga? I don't even know him. Listen, oh, uh, Bert, Bert Stunner said this, Stunner said that. Oh, Stunner said this. So, nigga, just like you speaking for Stunner, right? We me, we speaking for 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 just. You can't get mad, my nigga. You speaking for Stunner, right? So we speaking for just, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like that, nigga, 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 nigga. We coming in peace, but we at least stumping the nigga ass out though. That's on mamas. Do your research on me, bro. I stumped that nigga head off his shoulders, man. I wish he would. Tell him I'm in Atlanta right now. Tell him to catch do you that feel fight. Like, do you feel like BG looking stunner sideways right now? I don't because know. Because of this? I, listen, listen. So I'm going to answer that question like this, bro. How would you feel if somebody who you look up to as a father figure, somebody who helped change your life, Despite the fact that you had some bumps along the road, road along, along your road, bro, how would you feel when you find out that a motherfucker trying to line you up and besmirch your character because you refused to sign with him? Come on now, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm going to say. I can't tell you how you feel. You know what I'm saying? Because nah, I got it. BG got ain't it. operating out no feelings right now. BG ain't there say, I feel like this. I feel like that. Just like nigga did what it is. Just along some shit like nigga did what it is. We thug it. Right. You me? That's, that's the like. first thing I said when this came out. I said, like, I feel like now that this came out and, like, Stunner stands, like, as far as he's still standing with Wack and he's not speaking up against it, I feel like it's no chance of BG ever signing with Cash Money now, bro. Ever. I don't. I, hey, go. Go here. I'm listening. I'm listening. Do you feel listening. like, do you feel like uh, Stunner has an obligation to speak on this? Yes, 100 percent. Yeah. Because it's like this, Rich. Right? Say me and you is cool, right? And me and Dogface is cool, right? And I'm um I'm in business with both of y'all. I rock with both of y'all. And you saying some things publicly, as far as like about Dogface, you know what I'm saying? And you attaching me to it, you know what I'm saying? And you steady attaching my name to it, steady attaching my name to it. I owe an explanation to Dogface, or I owe an explanation, period, just to clear my name if I ain't got nothing to do with it, if I ain't standing in agreement with it, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, but let me run this to you, though. Like I was saying uh, earlier, though, Go, do you think that, okay, so then Birdman is putting plays together in the, in the background because he sent that message to gangsters talking about, hey, Fi, don't play with my son's name if you don't got the proof then don't play with his name. So you think that was all theatrics at, as well? Because that's the that that's the that's the that's theatrics, bro. Yeah, that's, that's theatrics. theatrics. Right. That's theatrics, bro. That's theatrics, bro. Okay. All right. All right. Don't hey, don't forget his, don't forget his name, Beatrice, bro. So take the B off and put the T on there. <laughs> <laughs> so is it a possibility though? Wag one hundred just lying about all this. Like and Bird Birdman is not really all the way tapped in. So a, let me ask you a question. Birdman has sold over a billion records, bro. Birdman is responsible for putting together a, a, a the historic rap group, the Hot Boys. Birdman 
is responsible for putting his, putting his weight behind everybody from Young Thug to a bunch of mother other motherfuckers, bro. Birdman is listening to everything everybody is saying, bro. Come on now. He's yeah, ain't no way he's sleeping at the wheel. On, and now he got uh could have been records. <laughs> no, I'm trolling. <laughs> no, I'm but trolling. And, and even if not, shit, low key, he probably is calls, behind that shit. No, I'm being smart. Shit, yeah, he even had him on Clubhouse, and he calls him when he's on that show with Adam. So it's just too many flags there, red flags there and shit, man. It's, I hear you, bro. It's no way around it. Anybody else get anything else from me, bro? Anything oh. else, man? And like I said, I, I was in that. I was Where in that. Big early, truck at? No, so listen, bro. Listen, just what we're gonna say. No, that's it. I know how this. I know how the social media game go. I'm, 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 I'm with the social media. I'm with the shits too. Uh, so if y'all recorded this shit, put this shit on you, put this shit on YouTube. Oh, you. Y'all can follow me. On Inst- Anybody follow me on Instagram? I follow y'all back. I ain't like that. I ain't one of those type of niggas. Hey, <laughs> I followed you. So my shit. I, I followed. Yeah. I, Chuck, I definitely wanted to say something. Oh, I just BG because BG is one hundred. New Orleans still love BG. We have a mad, mad, mad respect for him in, uh down here in New Orleans. And- right, hey, who who followed me? I'm gonna follow y'all right back. Oh, sorry, my baby. <laughs> 